efficient, reliable software with data at the center. Software that offers the newest technology to give you a winning edge. I am constantly amazed to see how all of you use Autodesk software to win. Now with Tim, the ultimate goal is to win races. With my next guest, the goal is to win business. Skanska is a world-leading project development and construction group based in Sweden with offices around the world. And the Skanska team in Florida is making a big impression, not only within Skanska, but across the construction industry. Here to share this story is Skanska USA's virtual design and construction manager, Kelsey Stein. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me, Amy. Last year, 6.3 million virtual reality headsets were sold. Our local pre-construction team bought just one of those headsets. We ended up using it to win five out of the next six projects we pursued for a total of several hundred million dollars. Today, I'm going to share with you how we leverage new technology from Autodesk to alter our current workflow and gain the competitive edge. Now, this journey began two years ago. My manager, Jeff Courtney, was sitting in the audience just like all of you. He was listening to a talk about virtual reality using the game engine Stingray, now called Max Interactive. Now, he's a construction manager of 30 years, but he loves attending AU and learning about the latest and greatest technology. So sitting in this class got him thinking that virtual reality would be a great tool for construction, but he needed to test this theory. So when he got back from AU, he asked me to see if this software was right for Skanska. Now, a little asterisk here. I am not a programmer. At that time, I had never created a project in virtual reality before. Like many of you, my background's in architecture. I worked overseas for the better part of a decade, designing stadiums and arenas all over Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia. My expertise is in complex 3D models, big BIM data sets, and international coordination efforts, not VR. But I built upon this solid foundation in BIM and joined Autodesk's virtual reality beta team. And what we found is that VR was a great tool for construction. The simplicity of the workflow that went from Revit to Live to Max Interactive allowed us to bypass traditional rendering software. Now beyond this, we were interested in the functionality that Stingray or Max Interactive provided. We wanted to include design options, material options, and cost, all in VR. Now this had never been done before, so we also needed to make a process that was simple, repeatable, and scalable that we could use on a variety of projects. Now this is where Autodesk stepped in. Now luckily, our account managers put us in contact with the right guy for the job, Dave Tyner. Dave has been absolutely great to work with. Here's a few pictures of him in case you need to recognize him for one of your future projects. Now together, Dave and I created the Skanska Stingray template that we presented at AU last year. Now the beauty of this template is that it allowed us to create functionality on our own without the need for programming or Autodesk consulting. So after AU, we took the template back with us and we used it on a variety of projects over the next couple of months. We ended up winning five out of six of those projects. Let me show you two examples now. This is the living building at Georgia Tech University. Now, the Living Building Challenge is a very rigorous sustainability certification program. Using this tool, our clients were interested in looking at design options, material options, and cost. For example, for this feature wall, the client wanted to use several different sustainable building materials. We could cycle through those building materials and show the cost associated for each one. Now our client was also interested in looking at natural light. Using this tool, we could show the sun angles at different times of the day. We could also show different facade options. Now, the 35% glazing facade option 
was not a very nice space. It didn't let in much natural light. But the 45% glazing option that you can see here let in much more natural light. It was a better space for both the students and the professors. Now using this tool, we could toggle the cost on and show the client that there was less than a hundred thousand dollars difference between the two. So the client went with more natural light. So you can see how this tool is allowing our clients to make real-time design decisions. Now another example is the linear accelerator. This room is part of an oncology suite in a hospital. It's an incredibly expensive room surrounded by two foot thick concrete wall to ensure radiation from that machine doesn't escape. It's only accessible by a long maze-like corridor. Now as you can imagine, this is a very traumatic experience for the patients. Using this tool, we're able to show the owner how they can transform this space from a cold, sterile environment into a much more warm and comforting space for the patients. We can change the materials and show the cost associated with those material changes. For just a few thousand dollars more, we can transform this space and this experience for the patient. Now another great feature is multi-user. Now this functionality allows us to walk side by side with the owner through their project. We can even hand them the cost pad and they can make changes on the floor, wall, and ceiling on their own. Now the costs are updated in real time as they make those changes. Now this works with a client that's standing right next to you in the same room, or they can be on the completely opposite side of the country in a different office. So you can see our clients are viewing this tool as a technological differentiator. Now, VR enhances the client experience by helping them visualize their project, but it also helps us convey the cost implications of different design decisions. Finally, it allows clients to make decisions earlier in the design process. This benefits everyone. By taking small steps and building on our successes, we've been able to use this tool as a launch pad for future development especially with regard to big data. Now with Autodesk's help, we've made improvements to the template. Dave and I are presenting these improvements this very afternoon. Now let me give you a sneak peek. We are now able to access an entire Revit model and all of its BIM data in VR. We can filter by any number of Revit parameters, including level, department, cost, or assembly type. We can run a 4D construction sequence on the entire building or just one of those filtered views. Finally, we can run total cost on one element, the entire building, or a filtered level. Now, this is an incredible time to be in the construction industry. Now, this has been an amazing journey over the past two years, and I know it's just the beginning. To summarize, I have three pieces of advice for you. First, start small. Starting small ensures success. What we were doing had never been done before, and a small project was manageable by both Skanska and the client. Now, secondly, starting small allowed us to build upon our successes. Now, I knew absolutely nothing about VR when all this started. Dave would teach me one thing, and then I would go off and learn four or five more things on my own. When I got stuck, I would come back and this process would start all over again. Now this working model enabled us to accomplish so much more than if we would have tried to implement a big data multi-user project from the beginning. Now lastly, none of this would have been possible without vision. My manager, Jeff Courtney, saw the potential for VR in construction because he attended a class on gaming. So my last piece of advice for you is to never stop exploring. Attend a class at AU that has absolutely nothing to do with your field. You just might end up on the main stage at Autodesk University. Thank you. All right, I think Tim and Kelsey deserve another round of applause.
So all I can say is, wow. It's not often that a team explains how they quadruple their business to an audience that includes their competitors. Be sure to catch Kelsey's class here at AU to learn more about her work, and also be like Jeff. Look for new ideas in unusual places.